Hey! So guys, apologies, we're late. We had a few technical issues. But also, I arrived home late, so... It's just not acceptable, yeah, really, is I know. Just not acceptable. So how's everybody? Welcome to the live. How is everybody doing? Did you have a nice... Well, for those of you that did have a nice long Easter weekend, did you have a nice long Easter weekend? Yeah, and what did you get up to? And if you didn't have a nice long Easter Easter weekend, what did you do? What did you get up to? Why wasn't it good? No, I say the long Easter because in the United States, I don't think Monday is a bank holiday. Yeah, right. I don't I don't know if they have bank holidays or whether I think they can choose their bank holidays. Is this true? So if you're from the United States, drop in the comments. Do let us know if you get a bank holiday or you did get a bank holiday on what we call Easter Monday. Mm. Um, so how's everybody been? Like I said, everybody's we're late. Um, what did you get up for Easter weekend? Did you cook? Did you go out? Did you do anything nice? Um, your scene from our video that we uploaded, we went to Street Burger, or as Kelly likes to call it, Street Pizza, <laughs> which you still haven't corrected. I noticed. No, I will do that. I will correct it to Street Burger, not Street Pizza. So there is a Street Pizza. There is a Gordon Ramsay does have a Street Burger mm. and a Street Pizza, which we have done Street Pizza before. a while ago. Yeah, but we shall do it again. Yes, we will. Funny enough, so Kelly and I went to the O2 on Saturday, uh, and that's where we filmed Street Burger. But they are opening a Street Pizza in they the O2. They are. Yes, they are. Sam! Hey, Sam! How are you doing? How are you feeling? Are you fully recovered, Sam? I know you've been... Not, you yeah, you have not been well. Um, but you did cook a good dinner from the pictures that I saw. Oh, you didn't show me these pictures. I, I, we have shown them on the line. But you kind of done because Sam cooked on the weekend. Oh, no, uh, maybe I didn't. You see? You see how she tries to dupe me, Sam? You see? I didn't get to see these. Yes. So how was it? How did your meal go? We I know you did. be correct. Oh, I'm correct. Oh, uh, please. I know you did lamb, and I know you did a, a roast dinner. Did anybody else go and do a roast dinner, or did you go out and do something? So we did. We spent time with your family yesterday, yes. not the Sunday. Uh, but on the Sunday, we did go out as well. So we did. Oh, I don't know what we did now. We did. Uh, Fiona, hey, how are you doing? Hey, Fiona. How are you? We are good. How are you? Are you well? Did you have a nice Easter Easter weekend? Um, so Kelly and I, as you know, we, we did Street Burger on the Saturday and on the Sunday we went to Carberry. That's what we did. Toby Carberry, that's what we did. I have to think about it. There we go. Oh, wow. Excuse me. That looks amazing. If you ate meat, yes. you don't. No, but, but the roast potatoes look fantastic. Yeah. Oh, we won't share because it has got your surname in there. What are your no, it's, it's when I tap it off. Then oh, it goes, yeah. okay. Look at that. Uh, St. Carl, how are you? Did you have a good Easter? Hey, St. Carl. We did have a good Easter, thank you. I, meant, so I meant to ask, um, Sam, is this mac and cheese? I want it, whatever it is. Is it mac and cheese? Is it cauliflower cheese? It looks good. I'm not a lover of either or, to be quite honest, um, but Mark... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Green beans. Oh, right. So what did you guys get up to at Easter? Did you do anything nice? Right. Sam said, I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you, guys. Very oh, great. Oh, bless you. And yes, Easter dinner was delicious, especially the lamb and the fresh yeah. runner beans. Uh, were they from your garden? They do look very, very, very fresh. Kelly, Excuse me, because I am eating. I just literally walked in the door about 15 minutes and ago. Somebody very nice cooked that for you, didn't they? Um so I'm not so nice, keeps talking about it. Yeah, don't even have to I can see it. Um uh so yeah, what we're gonna say, did did it go, did it turn out to how you wanted to, uh, it to turn out? Uh, and did anybody else cook for Easter or did you go out? Mm. So as I say, Kelly and I, we went to Street Burger, that's Gordon Ramsay's on the Saturday mm -hmm. at the O2. And then on the Sunday, we went to the Toby Carberry. We did. Uh, so we filmed both. You've seen Street Burger, for those of you that have seen it. Now, the thing was, so my mum rang me and she goes, oh, she doesn't want to cook on Sunday. I was like, cool, neither do I. So she booked for her and um, a couple of friends to go to the car room. She said, like, can I book it for her? I was like, all right, cool. And then she was like, oh, do you want to come with us? And I was like, I don't know, because we haven't planned anything yet. We were talking about filming. We wanted to get a few videos under our belt and all this. But she wanted to go like at one o'clock. And I feel like at one o'clock is far too busy. Mm. And so um, we, we, so about a couple of days before, literally two days before, 
was like to Mark, why don't we go? We'll book it. I'll book us in for 12. And Mark goes, is 12 o'clock available? 12 o'clock was available. And I went at 12. My mum went at 12.40. So we got there because we wanted to film and stuff. So we got there and um, it wasn't packed at all. No, I, if anybody cannot be bothered to cook on an Easter Sunday, I would definitely recommend going out uh, because it wasn't busy at all. If you get the earliest slot, well, it may have been busier later on in mm, the day. Mm. We've been on a Sunday to a, a Toby Garfrey before and it is ram packed, ram packed. One o'clock was fully booked. Oh, so it would have been busy then, maybe. Mm. Um, oh, Sam said, the bowl was my cheesy bread sauce. Mm. Uh, but the air fryer burnt it a little bit. And I've never done roast potatoes in the air fryer. But they were okay, but not my best. The potatoes had too much sugar in them. Oh. Sugar in them? What ones did you use? Did you use sweet potatoes? Oh, maybe she sprinkled, maybe, did you sprinkle sugar on them? Or is it sweet potato? Like no, she said in them. I think that they are... Uh, Quite a sweet potato. Yeah, but sometimes when you're typing, I and O are next to each other. Yeah, this is true. I, O, I, O. So what about the rest of you guys? Did you get anything exciting? So we will put the, as you said, we put the um, burger kitchen up already. Uh, Lauren, how are you? You're okay. Uh, Lauren was on the, uh, uh, watching it live with us as well. So Mm. the, the street burger. Right. Now, there's a bit of a confusion on time. So originally, when I tried to upload to to set the premiere, I was setting the premiere to 5.30. Because I knew we'd be free at 5.30. But when I had a look, it said 6.30. So on the day, I changed it. Um, And so sorry if some of you got mixed up and it wasn't at 6.30 as you originally thought. It was actually meant to be 5.30. We got completely duped by the the change in times. Has anybody else done that as well? I've got to say, it's hit me hard. I am, uh, I, lo- I love it when the clocks go forward, uh, go back, sorry, because that means I can get an extra hour in bed. Um, but when it's an hour forward, you get an hour less in bed. I know it doesn't I mean... affect you, but for me, oh, no, no. So how do you guys adapt to it? Do you just segue seamlessly into it or does it really mess you up? I don't segue seamlessly, but I don't complain about it. I just get on with it. I just like, you know what? I'm it's not like I complain about it. I'm just going to get up early and I'm just going to deal with it. I feel like, because to be fair, I could spend all day in bed. I could spend all morning in bed and blah, blah, blah. And I just feel like sometimes if you do that, it does make you lethargic. It makes you more tired. It doesn't, yeah. So for me, I just get up and I just, yeah, I just get up. <laughs> Just get up. That's it. I'm just thinking about it. But my whole family are like that, to be fair. My whole family are early birds. Uh, Laura said, oh, I'm all right, thanks. Good. I'm glad you're okay. Sam said, I can't remember what spokes they were, but the sugar content seemed very high. Oh, wow. Hi, Charlie. How you doing? Hey, Charlie. Um, How you been? Uh, What we got? Uh, Lauren said, oh, I've got a bit of a cold, but not that bad, thanks. Oh, Mm. that's good. Oh, Richard, hello. Richard said, oh, I'm eating right now the whole tub of coleslaw. Smashed kale and new spuds with butter and a big steak haddock. I'm eating at a uh, pace. Why are you eating at pace? You got uh, just slow, slow. You want to get indigestion? Slow. Mm. You've been all right. Um, Relax. Take your time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You see, Lauren said the time messed her up. Yeah. Well. Sorry about that. Yeah. That was yeah. Time going forward or backwards or whatever it was. <laughs> That's true. Spring forward. Yeah. Did you get it? Spring forward. Spring, spring. forward, fall backwards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You see. Yeah. Spring forwards, fall backwards. You yeah. see. Yeah. That's what I said with the frog as well. The ribbit, ribbit. Um. Did Zachary enjoy all his Easter eggs? That's the other mm. thing I was going to ask you. He probably got a few, and I know he he had the. Uh, the egg thing. So, guys, thank you so much as well for joining us on our Eat Along for the last couple of weeks. Um, from anyone not familiar, so what we tend to do is we do what we call an Eat Along, if you've just joined the live. And uh, what it means is we will put up a food that you guys suggest, and then we will then buy it. You guys, and if you want to, can then buy it as well, and we eat it and taste it together at the live. Now, this time round, we've got not we haven't got anything planned, so we are going to throw it back to you guys. Do you have something you'd like uh, a taste test in mind? Now, normally we do seasonal things yeah. like Christmas and Easter, but all that's gone. So we, we haven't got much now till, and we did Valentine's Day, so we haven't got much till, well, much till for summer. And so that's whatever it will be. Well, I I mean, somebody did suggest something, 
um, which was Nigel. And don't worry, Nigel, I haven't forgotten, um, which is Nando's. So I know Nigel asked us um, to do a Nando's eat along. But so we don't know if we were going to do that as an eat along or as a, uh, a separate movie. If you want it as an eat along, we are more than happy to do it as an eat along. Um, but yeah, so over to you guys. Is there something you'd like to do in an eat along? It doesn't have to be hot food. But it can be hot food if you want to, if you want to do takeaway. Mm -hmm. We did try the um, the Burger King eat along, mm. but it didn't quite work because they took about a year to deliver it. Yeah. I mean, but I know that because when I was asking you the time, we were sort of debating about time, when it would get here and all of that type of stuff. And we just need to order it earlier. That's all that is. Uh, Richard said, I always saw some of the summer cakes in store. Mm. That I that I can believe. That I can believe. I remember at Christmas they were putting Easter eggs in store. But we've been having lovely weather. Yeah, well, no, we haven't. It's been raining. What are you talking about Saturday? Saturday the, was gorgeous. The one day out of about three weeks. No, I mean, we have had some warm days. I'm just saying. Buried no. in between all the rainy days. Yes, yes, that is true. I mean, I hate rain, so I, I can't lie to you. I can't stand the rain. Um, it's my window. Eva, how are you doing? Hey, Eva. You okay? Uh, you see, Lauren said, the clock's going forward. I was still quite tired on Sunday. Yeah, me too. I think what got me was, before I know, I thought, my God, it's half eight. And then you realise, <laughs> it's not, it's half seven. I was talking to my mum. So on the day that we were going to go to Toby, I was saying to my mum, I was, I was having a chat with her. And she was she was saying, "Oh, but look at look at the time. It's only half past ten or what?" I was going, "What are you talking about? It, it, what?" I was, I was like, "I was like, no, it's half eleven. She's like, "What?" I was like, "No, it's half past eleven. And she, she she rushed then. She she was already dressed and stuff, but she was rushing because if she hadn't known, um, she wouldn't have made her twelve forty booking. No, you are you saying? She because she goes, but my clocks haven't gone forward. I said because you haven't done your clocks. That's why." Uh, Sam said the new potatoes with real butter and fresh garden mint are delicious. Um, oh, I thought you, I thought I missed out your previous comment, Sam, but you did say that you weren't sure what type type of potato they were. I'm not sure about, I'm never sure about mint in my food. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love, no, they mint, I see, I'm not a big fan of mint, but fresh mint I like. No, it's, yeah. it's the things like where you get the peppermint and stuff like that. I don't like. Um, Lauren said, Oh, Sainsbury's food is that what you had for uh Easter? Mm. Uh, Aoife said, Sis figure, did you get my Instagram message on Instagram this evening? Uh, I haven't had a look because I literally walked through the door about ah, 10 minutes before well, we were due to start. We've had a suggestion, so Aoife said, Do a full Irish. Eat day. <laughs> well, that might be a little tricky because we gotta we would have to try. We could potentially do it. We'd have to, but probably we don't have Irish ingredients. Potentially do what? Well, I'm just but, trying to think where is the nearest Irish store. But I'm just thinking for everybody else, would they be able to get Irish? Yeah, products? exactly. We so, may we may need to do a video just on Irish food alone. Exactly. I think we need to find an Irish we need to find an Irish place and maybe soon. I I Something has just popped into my head. Go ahead. So, no, I'm going to keep it secret. All right, all right. So we may be doing Irish food, not anytime soon, but yeah. All right, you've got yeah, an idea. Yeah, I have. I've got a, I've got a really good idea. I recently said, Sam, my mint in my garden has started to grow again, and my chocolate mint tastes like after eights. Mm. Chocolate mint? Can you actually get a plant that's like chocolate mint? Uh, please do an Irish eat, says he. Well, that might be on your thing. We will. Oh, we will. Oh, right. So Lauren said, do a Tesco's or Sainsbury's. Oh, sorry, you meant do Sainsbury's food challenge. Right. Do a Tesco or Sainsbury's food versus Lidl's live. Would there be a specific thing, though, you'd mm. want us to try? The only thing is, like I said, Tesco's and Sainsbury's are a massive store. So it'd be interesting to see. I was thinking like doing like one product like we did with Prime or we did with the Easter eggs. It doesn't have to be, but have a think. I'm just thinking what is also easier for you guys to get hold of. Mm, and what is, yeah, easier for everyone else to get hold of. Uh, Charlie's followers are growing at 349. Mm. Even said, Kelly, uh, 11 degrees today. So that is wow. cool. Um, where are we? Sam said, or uh, Eva said hello to everybody. Uh, I've lost the plot. Where am I? Where am I? Hey, look who's joining us, it's Amy. Hey, Amy. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Um, hi, everyone. Sam says, uh, Richard, Rich, I've got chocolate mint too. It's a wonderful and pretty little plant. I had no idea that was a plant. 
Is it actually a plant? You learn something every day on the live. And does it actually taste like chocolate mint? I'm assuming so, hence it's called that. No, he said it tastes like after eight, so yeah. Wow, a plant that tastes like after eight. That's but mad. It's probably better than the ones we've got, actually. Those ones we've got the gin well, and tonic. Well, they're the gin and tonic ones. Where are they? Where are they? Um, where are we? Uh, Richard said, I want to get uh, rest of the fancy mints this year. Which fancy mints mm. are you going for? So the ones we did try were the after eight uh, gin and tonic I think ones. we were talking about mint plants. Oh, mint plants. I think so. Is that what you're talking about? Are you talking about mint, actual mint chocolate or mint, um, like Kendall's mint cake? Mm -hmm. Type of like a mint type thing. Um, my beloved friend, Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, where are we? Uh, Eva said, I'm, I'm talking, got 96% on a basic course on aging. 96% is good. That's a real Mauritian thing, isn't it? When uh, if you get ninety six percent in the test, and Mauritian mum will say, "Well, I'm the other four percent." No, no, they go, "Why didn't you get hundred? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Where's the other four percent? No, they don't say where's the other four percent. That's too difficult. They say that mum. So if I ever came home, and I got, I don't know, the way they used to mark our books, it'd be like A A A. So I would, I, I would come home. Let's say something like. A, B, A. My mum would say, but why didn't you get three A's? Or, if I got three A's, or why didn't you get three A plus? Like, it was it was all, but why did you get better than what you did? It doesn't matter how well you do. Why didn't you get better than what you got? Is That that was always my mum. Uh, oh, that's harsh. Hey, Richard, says uh, Amy. Which is, yeah, chocolate mint is a crossover breed. Can you buy it in the plant already, or do you plant it from seed? Um, oh, you must try a full Cornish breakfast too. What is a full mm, Cornish yeah. breakfast? I thought that would just be full English. What's the difference between Cornish and English? Very does, interesting. Does it contain a pasty? Oh, I'm joking. But what you could do it. Uh, where are we? Uh, Richard said, hello. Laura said, I, I saw Visit Ireland advert in the cinema on Saturday. I would like to visit Ireland. Oh. Right. Deviating slightly, talking of cinema, Lauren, what was Ghostbusters like? What was the new Ghostbusters film? Without any spoilers. Without any spoilers. But did you Because like otherwise it? I'm not going to go see it. Uh, Sam said, chocolate mint is very pretty, Kelly. Oh, there we I'm are. have to have a look at it. We'll have to do it. And can you yeah. grow it from seed or can you just buy it as is? I never. I mean, I'm not very green-fingered every, anyway. Like, everything I have just dies eventually. Um, But... Oh, yeah, and I thought it was roses we've got a little... I think it might be camellia plant. Because somebody put something on on um, on one of the social media platforms and then said, oh, look at my camellia plant. It looks just like the, our roses that I confused with roses. Um, where are we? Uh, Amy said, oh, I love how after Easter you cannot find a single egg after Easter Monday. They, funny enough, they do sell them. When I went to... Um, I saw uh, yeah, I, saw well, I went to Popped Into Morrison's today. They did have still some there for sale. And I actually got full price. I was shocked. That is shocking. I thought my Easter's gone. Mm. Um, that is shocking. Oh, Richard said there's strawberry mint and apple mint. Richard, you've got to do a review on these. Mm. We're going to have to have a look at this. I had no idea. Did you know that you could get strawberry mint plants? No, there? I just thought basic and, mint. And an apple mint plant. Uh, oh, Lauren's going to Cornwall in three weeks. Uh, Lauren said, uh, <laughs> Eva said, no, Lauren, don't trust me. Why not trust you, Eva? Uh, I do. My parents told me to be safe. I'm sorry. I, I have to do what they say uh, mm. when we go online. Yeah. Um, uh, that's my Always be to. safe online. Yeah, exactly. Always be Richard safe said, online. mint has many flavours, but you've got to buy it quickly. Um, all right, Richard, where did you get yours? Can you point us out? Because I might have to see if I can get a hold of it. Really? Uh, Sam said, uh, Lauren said, oh, the film was all right. Was it just all right? Out of 10, what would you give it? Is it worth us going to see? That's the It's like mixed reviews. Yeah, yeah. It's I've had like mixed reviews. The Guardian panned it, but I don't know. But some of us liked it. So it's one of those things I do want to watch it. Mm. Uh, Sam said, oh, a pasty for breakfast can't be a bad thing, but mm. only Cornish. <laughs> I was only messing. What is... Sam, let us know what is the difference between a full English and a full, full Cornish. Um, mm. Or I think she has, she's just done it here. Uh, Richard said, easy to grow mid by the window there, just keep it trimmed. That's what we're going to do. I grow, Do you know what? I did try to grow a load of plants in the in the conservatory. Nothing sprouted. Not, I thought, I, I said to you, I thought it sprouted, but it wasn't. It was a leaf that fell in. Oh. I thought it was growing up, but it wasn't. Um, Sam said, a full Cornish breakfast has eggs, bacon, sausage, 
fried bed, bread and bed, bread and beans, mushroom and tomato, fried potato and hogs pudding. Mm. So that's a different thing. The, crispy bacon. <laughs> the hogs puddings are different. Um, oh, you've had pineapple mint. I have no idea all these mints um, existed. Existed. Yeah. Eva said, I have a tiny bit of dairy milk egg left and two Kit Kat eggs to eat. Oh, you've got some, a few of them then. We've still got the Kit Kat one, the one we said was brilliant. And the. No, the, the Maltese one. The Maltese one. one, not the Kit Kat. Not the Kit one. That confused people. Um, Eva said, I have a. T oh, yeah, sorry. Amy said, soon the Christmas stuff will be out, actually. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it'll be Halloween first. But don't write off the summer, Amy. Yeah. Don't push it out too much. Please. And let us know. So we've got a few ideas. We will have a little think about doing uh, an eat-along as well. But I'm just thinking as well, if you guys want to do hot food or cold food. Um. Also, uh, I, I like the way that Mark says, oh, yeah, we've we've still got blah, blah, blah. You're the one that's been eating them. Yeah, and? You're the one that's been eating them. We, as in, as in, as if I've been enjoying eating these Easter eggs. I have. <laughs> anyway, uh, Lauren's friend has come on. Ooh. Talking for Lauren. Hi, everybody. This is Lauren's friend chatting at the moment. Lauren Hi. does not trust everyone on here, but her parents have told her to be safe. Yes. As she's still very young, and that's yeah. very wise. Yeah, very absolutely. Very wise. Yeah, always be safe. Online. Always be safe online. So nobody take it personally. Lauren yeah. um, is just being safe, and I think yeah. that is sense. Yeah, of course. Uh, oh, garden centre, Mark, book a trip. See, the, the thing is, as well, we don't really, I'm just trying to think, there's a being q not too far from us, and somewhere, that I'm sure there's a Wix, and then there is a, is there a home base near yeah. somewhere? Yeah. Somewhere near, I'm sure I can find it, it's not too far. Yeah, but these there are other little garden centres. But these centers, aren't really yeah. garden centres, they're more, they just sort of sell a few plants. Um, where are we? Uh, Eva said... Kelly, Mark, love you uh, too very much. Oh, bless you. Um, we love you all too. Mm. Big heart, big heart. Right, Amy said, man, said young, 20-odd. <laughs> oh, Amy makes us feel old. Mm. But Amy is making us feel oh, well. old. Uh, what's Kelly eating? So do you want to share what you're eating? I wasn't eating a bacon sandwich. And who made that for you? Mark, because I was running late. And, and Mark messaged me, and then he regretted when he messaged, oh, do I want to make a sandwich? Because he thought, oh, she's got pizza in the fridge, she could have had pizza. I don't know, I could have done. So we did do, uh, well, we didn't actually do a review of it, but we did order pizza the weekend before. We ate a lot, out a lot, because mm. we could not be bothered to cook. So Sunday, my mum decided, oh, let's go out, because she didn't want to cook. And then Monday, she ended up cooking, and I'm just like, but you said you didn't want to cook. So anyway, I just thought, I don't want to cook, I'm ordering pizza. So um, I ordered four pizzas, uh, one pizza for me, one pizza for Mark. You know I don't like sharing. And um, I ordered two pizzas for everyone else so that everyone else could enjoy pizza and not ask me, can I have a piece of your pizza? Yeah. Um, there we go. So, uh, yeah, because Kenny doesn't share, although you didn't eat it all. Uh, isn't it in the fridge for me to eat? <laughs> the cheek. Amy says, oh, I was just laughing. Uh, there you are, Richard. So she's getting a nice bacon sandwich. Amy said, What am I, a baby? No, you're just you're just young, but there's nothing wrong in that. Listen, when you're older, you'll soon wish you were younger. Right. Okay? So enjoy it while you right. can, trust me. Mm -hmm. Um well, wait, Richard said three types of Kit Kat: the USA, the UK, and the Japanese, which is more epic. Mm. Which one do you think the Japanese is more epic, or are you going to do that as a video to find out which is more epic? Now we have done we have on the live, my brother sent me a whole load of Kit Kats when he was living in the States. Yeah. So we did a whole load of weird ones. We did birthday cake, which was really, really nice. What were the other ones? I can't remember. I can't even remember. But Japanese do do some weird. Yeah. Matcha. They do some weird ones. Like, I and mean, they have a plethora of flavours, plethora of flavours. Um, I do remember when um, friends of mine used to go, you know, to the Far East and blah, 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 and buy you know, like different things, but yeah. Yeah. Um, Sam said, mint will grow anywhere. It will invade your garden if you let it. Mine pops up everywhere. It's a wonderful smell if you brush past it. Um, I'm not sure I'd want it popping up everywhere. Well, funny enough, that in that park, which is not a million miles away from us, uh, there's mint growing in there. I thought, oh, is that's that a mint thing? And I just sort of grabbed it and smelt it. Yeah, it's mint. Mm. So it, it does, it can just grow anywhere. You're absolutely right. 
Um, Lauren's French, she's autistic and learning uh, disability too. She has to be supervised all the time because of her condition. Many thanks. No, we oh, totally no, we understand. Know. Yeah, we totally understand. And like I said, we're all inclusive yeah. here, and we um, don't ask personal questions, and we don't uh, we don't um, have people putting in personal information. And if we do, we delete it and all of that. We we want everyone to be safe for sure. Uh, so yeah, Lauren is always safe here as well. And if she you know she feels. If she doesn't want to share anything, she doesn't have yeah, to. Yeah, she doesn't absolutely. have to, yeah. Uh, but we'd love to have Lauren here. Yeah. Um, where are we? Aoife said, oh, a psychic nurse visit on Monday, relaxation therapy Tuesday, and Friday cooking on demo on Friday. Wow. So do you want to come on the live and do a Friday, uh, a cooking demo? Me? <laughs> oh, I could say, yeah, you and Aoife could do a cook along. Right, get the pan. It still takes saying, me forever to cook anything. No. I don't know what, uh, apparently Gordon Ramsay did that. He did a, a cook-along show and it just mm. didn't work because he had about three or four people on the live while he was doing his live cooking thing. Of course, uh, while he's about two-thirds of the way through, somebody hasn't got their pan on, somebody hasn't got the right oil. So, uh, I, I, he did a Christmas dinner live one year. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Yeah. I think, no, they say don't do them again. Um, right. True. St. Cot has a suggestion. Ooh. As you have done Mackey's, McDonald's, mm. and Burger King, mm. what about a KFC Live? <laughs> yes. I will ha happily do a KFC Live, but this one, unfortunately, um, where we are, they don't do the plant burger. Because KFC do a plant burger. But the only thing that you would be eating would be uh, um, corn on a cob. Or oh, chips. So what basically, yeah. Sincop, what really irritates me about our local KFC is they advertise a vegan burger. So yeah. It's on their menu, and it's not just on the regular KFC thing, it's on their menu, and it's advertised, do you want a vegan burger or veggie burger? I said, yes. And every single time, every single time, the phone will go, is that Kelly? Kelly, we don't have the other one. Or they, or they just send us something else that is not. Oh, yeah. actually, in fact, you guys saw. I think we did it. We didn't do an eat along with it, but we did a, a live. And what happened was they sent me a, sal a veggie salad instead of a veggie. Oh, what? I don't want this. Yeah, it's not the same thing. And it isn't worth like sitting down with Mark once he's upset about you know uh, mm. whatever it is. And I'm just like, well, be so I'd rather just get what we could get. Um, I listen. I happily do KFC because I. Well, we love can KFC. we can do that if you guys would like us to do a, a KFC and do a eat along. We could do a KFC and something else. Yeah, potentially. Well, let, we let's try it again. Let's see if we. Then they don't do it. I don't know why they don't do the that burger. They have it on that, but they don't do it. We could do twentieth time lucky. They don't do it because they they don't have a separate station. To do that. But why is it advertised on the menu? I, What's I even on there? I don't know. Um, anyway, where are we? So we that's one potential. And like I said, Nigel did ask us also to do the, the, uh, Nando's. the Nando's. Yeah. So Nando's, uh, we've got more choice. Uh, how would you guys feel about that? A Nando's or a KFC live? Mm. Which one would you prefer? Uh, Amy said, I went to, on a boat trip yesterday with a care home. I went on a four-hour boat ride. How was it? How was it? How was the water? Wait, was that on the Thames? I'm assuming you went on the Thames. Mm. Um, did you enjoy it? Did you go past all the sites? Do you know what? So if anybody is interested, uh, you can actually use your travel card if you're in London on the boats that go up and down the Thames. But it's only certain ones that do it. Yeah, only certain ones. And I can't remember which ones. And I don't know. If, that was last year. I don't know if they still do it because we've not been and checked it out. But I think it is in one of our videos that we did. Um that you could actually use your travel card. But I was asking someone um, a few months ago, do, do they use their travel card? And they said, no, they couldn't use their travel card. Um, and sometimes they do take the boat over. So I'm not sure which ones do, or if they still do, should I say. Um, where are we? Uh, oh, we for said, uh, Amy, how lovely. I lived abroad on a narrow boat in 2019. Mm. I would see for me, I'm six foot two, so I don't know how I would fit in a narrow boat. I think I'd keep headbutt in the ceiling. What's that like though? Is it cold in the winter? Sam said bacon and marmalade sandwiches are lovely. Bacon and marmalade? I'm, like, I'm not sure about that. I might put some marmalade on your bacon sandwiches and see if you like that. Bacon and maple syrup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you like the sweet here? I don't know, then you might try it. Why don't you try a little bit? Not with marmalade. Well, give it a go. <laughs> 
I'm not with marmalade. Um, <laughs> Kenny's trying to be polite. She wouldn't try it. But no, you no, don't I would know. try it, but I wouldn't. I know. See, the thing is, I know my taste buds. And I know that uh, marmalade and jams and things like that, for me, don't go with bacon. But maple syrup does go with bacon. What I can eat. But even when I eat bacon and waffles, it doesn't go as well as pancakes, if that makes sense. Um, but uh, at the duck and waffle, that's really nice when they do uh, duck and waffle. And I did get a side order of bacon. There, there is crispy and it, like, is 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 it real bacon when it's crispy though? Like, is it real bacon? Well, I mean, you mean like American bacon? Yeah, I mean, is that real bacon? It's yeah, like, I no, it's all about back bacon. In the, I don't like all of this streak, back, back, back. streaky bacon. No. Give, give me my give me my uh, back bacon. So for those of you that eat it, do you have a favourite type of bacon? Are you do you prefer the back bacon like Kelly does, or do you prefer the streaky bacon and let that go really crisp? And do you like smoky bacon or unsmoky? Like I can't. I used to eat smoky bacon, but it doesn't agree with me anymore. Nothing smoky agrees with me. Um, but yeah, normal unsmoked back bacon. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, and I can imagine actually in the West Country, you get some very nice bacon out there. Yeah, but do you remember when we went and I, I had was it the sausage? Because so when we whenever we go up sort of that side of the country, I always think, oh my god, the sausage is going to be nice and bacon's going to. There's a there's a butcher that every time we go, I yeah, say we never go. We're, we're, and we never go into that that butcher. But I, I, one day we have to go because I don't want to go there one day and then the butcher's closed and it's never to open again. I'll be so upset because I, I was like, oh, I always meant to go into that butcher. Um, but we went somewhere, we went to one of the hotels, and the sausage was awful. It was one of the worst sausages I'd ever oh, had. Oh, yeah, 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 I know the one you mean. And I was just like, oh, my God, this sausage tastes horrible. Um, and I was very, very shocked. I think, it's shocked. Of, I think that's because of the herbs they used in it. You didn't I think, it. yeah, because sometimes it depends on, yeah, the herbs and, and what it is that they mix in with the sausages and stuff like that. So, yeah, it, I didn't like it, though. It's well, a chipolata one. I Sam has a thing here. If you grab that sprig of mint from the park and put it in the glass on the window, uh, it will s sprout roots very easy. And you put it in the garden, wow. easy to grow. I might give that a go, actually. Um, thanks, Sam. That's a good mm -hmm. tip. I didn't realise it grows that, that quickly. Yeah, you make nice. it sound like Japanese knotweed. It just grows real, real quick. And you're like... Lauren said, oh, Lauren's friend said, okay, that's fine. She might uh, have got a bit carried away with some people when it said stuff. No, not no, at all. No, no, not at all. Never no. mind. It's a safe space. And like I said, we wouldn't want Lauren to feel yeah. uncomfortable. At yeah, She's for always sure. welcome to yeah. me. We want, we definitely want to see more of Lauren on here. Yeah. Um, Eve said, Mark and Kelly, 25 questions for the aging course, and I'm still living at myself. 96% is still good. Uh, Lauren will be chatting now. Okay. No. Uh, Sam said, uh, South Park had the best idea for a KFC ever. A bucket of the chicken skin. <laughs> oh, uh, your brother would love that. I, I, I can't lie to you, right? I love the chicken skin, right? And I always remember Joey from Friends. He goes, um, uh, I guess I'm, 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 gonna, I'm only going to eat the skin. So the chicken's up for grabs and he just takes the thing of the skin off. And I just think, oh, yeah, that crispy. But KFC back in the day was proper crispy. You know, it, it you you know you get crispy bits on it, and I'm talking like way back in the day. Now it's it's not as crunchy or as crispy as it used to be. It's just like a bit of a the the flavor's good, and and all of that. And even I make it at home sometimes. Do you know what I mean? It's rare, but I will make um uh, like a KSC style because it was leaked online the the recipe, the eleven ingredients. And so sometimes I make it, but it does taste good. Oh, my brother bought me that, didn't he? From Kentucky. Oh, did he? Yeah, the KFC. Well, it's not actually the recipe, but there's a KFC. Oh. There's a booklet in there. I'll see, have to dig it out. Somewhere. Oh, I've actually got the recipe. It's in there. It's in the booklet somewhere. I'll have to okay. dig it out. Okay. I'll dig it out for the next live, actually, if we're doing it. So we're looking. It's looking. It's looking like we'll be doing a KFC eat along. Amy said, "Can you do a KFC and chopsticks?" So I'm assuming... Oh, mean, Chopsticks the place. The brand, rather the, than eat KFC yeah, with Chopsticks. Uh, I was thinking, <laughs> what do you mean eat KFC with Chopsticks? What are you talking about? Right, now, I've not tried Chopsticks, right? Um, I've always wanted to, but I I haven't heard any good reviews about Chopsticks. Really? None. Even Evelyn went there, she said it wasn't good. Amy, do you agree? Yeah, do you agree? I will get it and I will try it because I've not tried it and I always have wanted to. 
But then I had a few people tell me, oh, it's rubbish. And I'm like, oh, okay. But I will try it for sure. So if that's something you want me to try, I will definitely get it. And they do um, veggie stuff there as well. So then at least Mark can have some of the chopstick stuff. Uh, Lauren said, uh, you're waiting for a food delivery guy. No, not today. No, not today. Not today, Lauren. But we, we will probably, it's looking like we'll be doing KFC this Friday if everybody wants to. We normally do the eat along on Fridays anyway. Yeah. Normally. Sometimes we do, though. You are right. Sometimes we do do, or do it on a Tuesday. Yeah. So yeah. Lauren is saying, eat Sainsbury's. All right. Well, get some bits and bobs from Sainsbury's. What, what, what is it specifically from Sainsbury's, though, Lauren? I did get these, Lauren. We got these. Were they, from, were they from Sainsbury's? No, no, no. One or two. They, they only had the big one in stock. The rest are from Iceland. Yeah, Iceland and B and M. Yeah, that's right. We went to three different places. Uh, Richard said the weirdest moment I had was my friend, uh, not a fan of fish, trying miso soup. I want its fish. He wanted to look cool. His face. <laughs> I like miso soup. Oh my soup, god! Though. Later, he was sick and blamed it on the, wall, the oh, water. Oh no! I like miso soup. I do like miso soup. Yeah. And um, what I was gonna say. Do you know, I walked into Sports Direct the other day and they had a load of primes in there. I was so shocked. Like, prime in um, Sports Direct. No. Really? Just oh, actually, I'll that. show you. Yeah, that, that doesn't actually surprise me. I was, showing, I was just like, what? This is mad. Like, having prime there. But they didn't have any flavours that we hadn't tried already, so. Ah, so Aoife said, uh, for Irish food, the London Irish Centre is the go-to place to shop. I was saying this to Kelly, actually. That I said, there must be a shop in London. London somewhere that specialises. Yeah, there would be. Yeah, and that's but we're it. not going there. I've had an idea. London. Oh, you've had an idea. It won't be for a while, to be fair. But we are going to try Irish. All right. All it right. won't be for a while though. But I've got. I've got. I've had an idea. Uh, Lauren said, "I went to Tesco's today after the club, after her club, and Ooh. then uh, they were selling jalapeno mac and cheese." Oh, it's part of the New Mexico Ridge. I love mac and cheese. Uh, do you know what? I'm not that fond of jalapeno peppers. Oh, no, but jalapeno... Chilies, yeah. Jalapenos, mm, not so much. If anybody did watch our uh, bur street burger video, did you see the mac and cheese in there? That mac and cheese, although it was a small portion... And, and it was expensive. It was seven quid for that small portion. But that was good mac and cheese. That mac and cheese was good. The, the cheese and it was bubbling. The cheese pool, which Madam didn't film. Probably. Hey, I filmed a lot of it, thank you. It was like this. I was pulling it up, and then you just get the camera here, so then no one could see how far it It stretched. did, and then I panned up, and then you saw it. Well, by then I'd eaten it. No, you hadn't. Uh, you had still had it on the floor. There we go. Uh, so I'll have to give that a go, jalapeno mac and cheese. It does sound nice. Uh, Sam, we eat the same kind of food. I think you guys do. I think I think secretly Richard is a West Country boy. Oh, right. I'm a West Country boy, so though. Tommy, how are you doing? Hey Tommy. How are you doing? How are things? How's Malta? Are you still in Malta or have you moved on? Because you because you you had a few days off, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, what did you get up to? Did you manage to, did you guys go ashore? Tommy, or? you're just living life. I, 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 do you know jealous. what? I'm jealous. not jealous. jealous. I am so happy that you know. You're just going, and you're just doing your thing. I like, I admire it because I think to myself, I remember sort of like being young and wanting to um, travel, but I couldn't leave. I just felt like I couldn't leave my brand because in my mind, as as young as I was back then, even that I just thought, oh, what if something was to happen to my brand and stuff like that? So I, I, di I didn't want to leave and buy that. And then when I was going to leave again, so then as I got older, I was going to leave again. Me and Evelyn were going to travel. And then um, uh, my grandfather got sick. And so that all went. To, and then my mum wanted me to buy a flat. It was a whole thing. So, again, so I had the two chances. And I, I didn't get a chance to, to, to sort of, like, live abroad. Um, but, yeah, it is one of those things. So I admire it. And I, and I live for it. And when you tell me, oh, you know, I've got a few days off. I'm going to more. Oh, I'm going to do this. I just think, oh. It's so lovely. Uh, Kelly's getting real jealous. Uh, <laughs> Mark keeps saying jealous, and I'm just thinking, no, I, it's admiration. All right, Sam said, the food that made America KFC episode is so good. I still need to see that, Ooh. Sam. I still keep meaning it's on my to-watch list. Because um, it's with Adam Rickman, isn't it? And I, I did see it advertised, but I would like to see that. I remember you saying about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really do want to see that. Uh, Richard said, KFC used 22 spices. KFC is, is a bit overpowering for him, though. So, go on, can you name them? Uh, not the 22, it's 11 herbs and spices. I don't know where the 22 spices come from. Salt. 
<laughs> and that's where I get stuck. Yeah, I'm just thinking, what is he waiting for? But um, yeah, it's it's eleven spices, not Laura, not twenty two. Lauren said, "Okay, I'm probably not getting a takeaway this week, but I still join." You know, Lauren, you yeah, don't have to. Lauren, you don't. See. Yeah, you can just like sit down and chat with us, and yeah. So it's looking yeah. very much like KFC this Friday. Uh, good food, Richard. Good food, said Sam. Good food. Yeah, they're on the wavelength. Uh, haven't tried chopsticks before either, said Lauren. Mm. No, you haven't. Have you? I haven't. No, I've just had. I just haven't heard good reviews about them, but I will try it. Has anybody tried chopsticks and liked them? I'm. Uh, what were they like, Amy? I'm assuming you have tried them. Uh, Sincott said, uh, "KFC do a veggie rice box." Oh, they but... do, but you you got the veggie rice box and you didn't like it. I don't remember it. Yeah, um, I've got to say this, Sincott. Our local one is very meat based. I don't think anyone. I, th I don't think anybody orders any of the veggie stuff. I, 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 I can't lie to you. Where we live, I can't imagine there's very many oh. veggies, right? <laughs> it's probably just me. Uh, yeah, because even in the family, there's there's two. So um, my cousin's wife, she doesn't eat meat. She will eat. She's very much like she'll eat fish and, and stuff like that, but she she won't eat meat. Um, and but they're the only two in the whole of my. And I've got a big family. I've got a big family. There's only two people that don't eat meat, and it's them two. And and when and I remember I had a friend come over once, right? And she's vegetarian. And my mom was like, "Why are you bringing these people here? I don't know what I'm gonna cook." Like they they start to panic because they don't know what they're gonna cook because we are very meat based. Um, Is that so, why you don't get invited everywhere? No, you don't get invited everywhere because you don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> the you I'm are joking. you are invited everywhere. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, the cheek of it. Um, but yeah. Um, it, it, I, uh, the, now they ca now they understand and they can cater for Mark and um, but when so when my cousin's wife was coming I thought oh, that, uh, they haven't catered for her and I was already buying pizza for Mark and I just thought do you know what let me get a half veggie and a half um, uh, is it do they call it marinara what, what do they call it margarita. margarita yeah half margarita and half veggie and um, and the, the thing is like it's so funny whenever children watch Home Alone. So the kids in the family have always been brought up on Home Alone. It's one of those Christmas movies and all that. And they go through this phase of where they want a cheese pizza or a, a, a margarita pizza. And so I did half margarita and half veggie. And of course, the kids went straight when they opened it, go, Oh, it's veggie, I'm not gonna have it. And then um, the mum was like, no, he is margarita. And he, and he was so excited that there was margarita. And so they were eating the, the, the half with the margarita, but they, I ordered the large. So, yeah, it's funny. We just said, Kenny likes melted cheese. Though, as you we all know, I'm surprised she didn't try the Burger King melts. Did we buy them? No, I did. Um, because, do you know why? Because I was thinking, oh, the, I was a, in my mind, I just thought, oh, I'm not going to like Burger King. I'm just, just going to order whatever. But Burger King impressed me. You see? Yeah, it impressed. Uh, and I like it when things change my mind. I like that. Because, like, sometimes you have this preconceived idea. And I just, and I remember Burger King back in the day. I did not like that. I didn't like the flavor of Burger King. I didn't like So I have avoided it for years. So I don't know when they changed their recipe. But it, it was good. I could, if somebody said, oh, do you want to go Burger King? I'd go, yeah, now. Do you know what I mean? And I'd be able to happily eat something in Burger King. Uh, we have the same food tastes, says Richard to Sam. Sam ah, not yeah, you, yeah, Sam. yeah. I was going to say, uh, we don't have the same food. Sam said, uh, would you order lobster mac and cheese? Oh, Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. You are talking my language. Absolutely. When we went to the US, they did, they did two types. They did lobster mac and cheese. And then they did angry lobster mac and cheese. And angry lobster mac and cheese has got chilli in it. Hence the anger in it. But it's so good. The lobster, I don't know why, because I just think to myself, when I try the lobster, I, to me it doesn't go well, but they're two of my favourite things. I thought, well, you know, it's going to work. Yeah. I mean, years ago, we did, we did Chris, I can't remember if we did Christmas or if it was New Year, but Marks and Spencer's did lobster, mac, mini lobster mac and cheeses, and uh, I put them in the oven. They went like hotcakes. They, everybody ate them. Everybody ate them. Yeah. Uh, Thomas, oh, where are we? Uh, Eva said, I had Mackie D's today and the chips are like strings of grease. But they're not bad. McDonald's fries, not only that bad. Maybe it's yeah. just a bad batch you've got. Yeah. 
Uh, Tommy said, I'm doing well, thanks. I'm still in Malta. I went out on Friday night, so couldn't join the live, but had a great time. Oh, we're glad oh, you had a good time. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Uh, we're off to uh, Côte d'Azur. Côte d'Azur. Oh, wow, next week. And then the south of France for a few weeks. Wonderful. Côte d'Azur is one of the places, yeah, that I'm thinking, mm, that'll be, yeah. It sounds like Côte d'Azur. Uh, it's, it? <laughs> it's not. It's not. Croque is the, uh, was it toasted ham and cheese, cheese sandwich? Yeah. Um, but it's I'm, made with a certain cheese I know, that I don't I do. like. Croque de Zure, have you ever been? No, I've not been to the South. Unless I, like I said, unless I went when I was very much younger, which is a possibility because um, when I was younger, we spent a lot of time in uh, um, in Paris and the rest of uh, uh, France and Mauritius. Every other month we were going to Mauritius or France, every other month. So um, it, it's quite possible I have been, but I just don't remember it. Uh, have you been to, to Cop de Zier before? Cop de Zier, sorry, before, Tommy. It sounds amazing. I'd love to go there. We really want to go to Monaco one day, but we just haven't got around to doing it. Uh, nine degrees in Dublin. It's probably about the same here. Yeah, it's probably really, the same. No, 12 degrees here, according to your laptop. Um, so not that much warmer. Uh, Richard said KFC won't tell you all the 22 spices, it's a secret. We can guess some of them, it's gonna be garlic powder. It, say, it says 22, but I've uh, I've only ever heard on the adverts 11 herbs and spices. It's only gonna be garlic powder, has gotta be one of them. Smoked paprika has gotta be one of them. Uh, celery salt is bound to be one of them. Uh, salt and pepper. There you You're go. only thinking about all the ingredients that I, I have in the kitchen. You've got six of them already. I'm just going to find the rest of them and then we're there. The other 16. Um, Tommy, I am well jealous. Uh, oh, you had KFC the other day and the chips and peel were gross. You're not having much luck, are you, even with these takeaways? No. Where are you getting these takeaways? Stop going to their places. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Sam said, Winston Shelton, a former friend of Sanders, uh, that's the colonel, mm. said that the secret recipe contained, was it Teddy Cherry Black Pepper? What's Teddy Cherry Black Pepper? Never heard of it. Is it actually cherry, the former Cherry Black Pepper? That sounds, it sounds nice. I don't, I've never tried, I've never even, excuse me, I've never even heard of it. Uh, Lauren said Zara Carmichael looks like an air hostess from 1996 from Doctors. <laughs> That's a very specific year, Lauren. I remember because uh, now I know who you're talking about when you mentioned. But I only remember when you say doctors, that's when I, re uh, that's, that's when I remember. And the name about. Zara Carmichael I have heard of. She's an actress. Doctor will be back on the 15th of April. Are you looking forward to it? I know you like Doctors. Sam said uh, Kevin at home alone will only eat cheese pizza. Yes. Go on, do your, your catchphrase for uh, Sam. Melt. All right. And don't forget to melt my cheese. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Laura said, when was the last time you went to Cornwall? The last time I went was in the push chair. Oh, my God. Oh. That, that was a while ago. I, mm. I Do you know what? Funny you should say that. I phoned my parents on the weekend, and I asked them if we ever been to Cornwall, and apparently we did when I was little. So you're looking a very long time ago, Lauren. Mm. Uh, you definitely would have been born then. Uh, but I'd love to go back because I don't even remember it. So it'd be a whole new experience for me. Uh, <laughs> for sure. Richard said, drunken crap is nice. It's Chinese chicken soaked in alcohol. <laughs> is that what it's called? Or is that what you call it? You know, can I order some drunken crap, please? Do you have a half drunken crap? Uh, just a leg of drunken crap. So just Chinese chicken soaked in alcohol. How long do you soak it in for? Absinthe jelly uh, is a quick way of getting tipsy as well. I can imagine. I can imagine. I'm not sure if everybody likes the taste of absinthe, but for sure it would be a very quick way. Uh, enjoy Coke uh, dessert, Tommy, says Lauren. Yeah. Lauren also said Coke brasserie menu is eat a lot. Oh, actual oh, fact. I, I like Coke brasserie. Mark doesn't. Now, to be fair, the bit I don't like about Coke is it's very small portions. That's why I don't like it. I'm, it's the one. It's French, so it's not going to be American-sized portions. Oh, it's the one. It's not even going to be British-sized portions. The, I mean, the food is nice, but it's all right. But it, it, what irritates me is I'm more hungry when I leave than when I went in. That completely defeats the object of me going. No, you're going for the experience. You're not going to uh, so that you're uncomfortably full and go, oh, I'm so full. Well, you, no. might, you might be going for experience. I'm going to get fed. Uh, Tommy said, I absolutely love the South of France and hopefully one day we'll settle there. Wow. Oh, so you found the place you'd like wow. to settle. Wow. 
Oh. That's a me anywhere specific, or you just don't mind. It just has to be yeah. the type of product. I think when the moments right, I remember. So there was a regular Starbucks that I used to go to like a few years ago, and um, I remember talking to this lady, and she she was an older lady, and um, I remember her saying that uh, she bought a place in France. She 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 didn't have a foothold in England at all, but she bought a place in France. I don't know what part of France. Um, but that's what she had decided that that's where she was going to, and it reminded me of you know when you when you watch those programs where they're debating if they're going to settle in England or they're going to yeah, 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 yeah. settle in France somewhere, and it just reminded me of that. And you know, she said, "I just can't afford," and it was it was quite sad really because she goes, "I just can't afford um, property here," but in France she could she could, and I and I suppose you if you're gonna, and she seemed like one of those ladies that would really get her hands dirty and start, you know sort of doing things that needed done to the property but um yeah i think she just thought you know what i'm just gonna go there buy my house and just yeah live live life uh where are we uh ho 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 green fairy the absence of the green fairy is that what they call it the absent green fairy that will get you uh smashed really quick. i bet oh that absence as well it looks like the sort of when you look at absence in a in a uh, a glass it just looks like the sort of liquid you clean cones in you know, like in the barber, we'll have more. We'll I'm just trying to think. Is it, is it not clear? Absent. No, it's green. It's really bright green. Oh, or, I'm, or am I thinking of Chinzano? Oh, you must be thinking of something else. It uh, looks. It or looks, Perno. It looks totally artificial. Absinthe and Perno and Chinzano, they are all like very aniseedy flavors. Go. You've got a bottle of, uh, uh, of it in the cupboard. Absinthe. No, Creme de Month. I have not absinthe. I forget. Yeah, no, I've got Creme de Month. That's green. Yeah, that maybe I'm confusing with that. That is really <laughs> that's green, yeah. Uh that is really But that's a liqueur. But it, it looks so unnatural. It's it's just a really almost like Yeah, but it's a liqueur. It's uh, yeah it's paint stripper colour. It's really, really it's not absent though. It's kind of um where are we? 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 Oh we made hello! Hey. Uh, how are you doing? Uh hello. Laura said Zora Carmichael is played by Elizabeth Dumont Walsh. Oh, oh in okay. Um, oh, is that the Zara Carmichael is, yeah, that's right. The, the um, I thought that was the character, was that the character or the actress? I thought that was the actress. I only know I had the blonde lady, the one that you showed me. <laughs> Sam said drunk and crap, laughing my ass off. I know. Yeah, can I have a side of drunk and crap, please? Uh, Laura said Kirsty Miller is played by, is it Kirana Stunwell? Uh, Scarlett Kernan is played by Kia Pegg. Um, oh, Gold Schlager. Got to see my sis try it. So Eva said you got to try a bottle of... What is gold schlager? Yeah. I've only never, that never even heard of half these things. Well, I have heard of absinthe. I'm going to yeah. quickly Google absinthe because I'm sure it's not green. Then Google gold schlager and see if he needs it. I've got to be so careful I pronounce that. Uh, Lauren said, oh, Husky is played by Ian uh, Midlane. And Jimmy Clay, played by Adrian Lewis Morgan. God, you really know them. Mm. You know what the characters on that. Tommy said, hopefully... He'll get to settle somewhere near Cannes or Saint-Tropez. Ooh, Saint-Tropez. What's it, Tommy, is the weather pretty much nice all year round? I've got to say, the one thing that... I do like living in the UK, I do. But the one thing that gets me down is the weather. I was thinking that's what absinthe looks like. I think you're thinking that's what absinthe looks yeah, like. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But I, it, that's not what I have. I have... Uh, I'll show you what I have. Oh, yeah, actually, but Geddy's just Googling it, and it does say... That's what I have. Kenny just Googling it, and it does say uh, absent the Green Fairy mm. on there. Um, where are we? Uh, Rob Hollins is played by Chris Walker, uh, says Lauren. Uh, Sam said, after life, I will be finishing the new number one Netflix show, Testament, the story of Moses. It's been quite good. And they've done Alexandra the Great and Cleopatra. So you've got quite a bit to catch up on. Do you know what I was binge watching? Um, the last season of Supernatural. And I am so sad that that was the season finale, basically. Oh, you seen it all now? I it? watched it all, um, and I'm going to watch it from the beginning again. Um, but what I love about, and because me, me and Evelyn were having a quick chat about it, was that it's got so many episodes in. Like nowadays, you don't get as many episodes, so um, you you get like twenty anywhere from twenty to twenty four episodes per season. Um, the last one only had 20 episodes in, but the season prior, so season 14, had 20, I think 24 episodes in. 
Um, so I was a bit heartbroken that there was only 20 episodes. I was just like, oh, I want there to be 24. Um, but yeah, it, it was emotional. Um, it's over. And uh, now I'm going to watch it from scratch. So has anybody else got a series that they're watching? Is anybody addicted to a series? Is anybody catching up on a series? Are they all going back and playing old series that they weren't uh, watching? Mm -hmm. um, I, one of those things as well, I stopped doing series because I, I remember watching Lost. And I got so hooked to it, and uh, and also Breaking Bad, and I, I stuck through lot. I stuck through Lost for the entire thing. And I remember getting to the end of it. I thought this better be worth it, and you got to it, and it just wasn't. And so I thought Wait, Breaking Bad, you really enjoyed Breaking Bad, but the trouble is, you then get you end you end up having to watch all of it. And I thought I don't want to get myself hooked on. I like, carry on my way words on. Um, and don't you cry no more. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, God. Um, uh, uh, yeah, that was um, the sort of key song for um, Supernatural. Uh, but yeah, I just. Um, well, Sunny Basara is played by Rahul Area, and uh, Michelle Walton is played by Johanna Bending. There you are. Um, and Bear Sylvester played by Dex Lee. Wow. Sam said, Have you ever had a grasshopper cocktail? They have creme de menthe in there, and it's yummy. Have you tried one? I, I, so, me and Evelyn, right, there, there is a, when we go to Lanzarote, there is a cocktail bar, and I think it's called the Corner corner Bar or something like that. Um, and I had a glass of I didn't enjoy it, to be fair, but it was very short. I am very, like, when I, I like my drinks when you can't taste the alcohol or... That alcohol complements the drink. Evelyn likes it if you pour a bottle of whatever it is in the actual thing. But I, it's too. I, I, I like it very subtle, so I can enjoy the pleasance of it, if that makes sense. The pleasure of it, you know, and I, and I want it to be pleasant. Um, but that that grasshopper was shot. That's Evelyn's favourite cocktail bar because they make their drink strong. I normally get a chocolate milkshake and ask them to put a shot of Baileys in that. So good. So do you guys have a favourite cocktail? Is there something you like to have? Is there something you really enjoy? Is there something that you uh, uh, will always What's go my favourite cocktail? Your favourite cocktail is going to pina colada. If you like pina colada. That's Kelly's favourite cocktail. I love it. I'm not really a cocktail person, but has anybody got one that they like? Is there a go-to? Or is there one that you created yourself that you'd like to share? Let and us know, bung it in the comments. Evelyn's favourite one, she has two, but her main one is Long Island iced tea. Um, if not, then a Tom Collins. Ah. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, oh, the weather's nice all year, Tommy. No wonder you want to settle there. No wonder. You, do you know what it is? I think um, I was watching the film Taxi. So Taxi is a French film, uh, which is based in Marseille. And they showed Marseille around at Christmas time, and everybody's uh, was just in t-shirts oh, really? round round Christmas time. And I thought, oh, you're so lucky. I think um, I think it's one of those things. If you are just able to, uh... I think when you're acclimatized to it, though, it would be very different. So whenever we go to Lanzarote, we go to Lanzarote in the winter and summer and all of that type of stuff. But I think sooner or later, if you were a native there, you acclimatize to it. So when it gets to the winter time, even though we would go there and it would be hot for us. It'd be like I've been I've been in, in their winter time and there's people wearing big coats. Like like puffer jackets oh, yeah, and yeah. stuff. And yeah. I'm just like, that's mad. That's in Lanzarote. So yeah. the Spanish as well, they will obviously to this kind of weather, I'll be in t-shirts. Anything above wearing above 17, I'll be in a t-shirt. Any anything that's double figures normally, I I'm not in a t-shirt, but I, I start wearing jumpers. But because it's been raining, I've had to wear coats. But if it wasn't raining, I'd be wearing jumpers now to work. I wouldn't bother be wearing coats. Oh, my coat. God. Sam said, absinthe used to contain woodwork. Really? Because that gave it a flavour. And then what was it, the Jamaican white rum that they put a, a centipede, millipede? In? No, that's tequila. Oh, is that tequila? Yeah. Um, where are we? So Lauren said, Nina Vasari uh, played by Wendy Peters. Uh, Rumor mm. is played by Barty Patel and Luke uh, McIntyre is played by Ross McLaren. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Um, Rose Coltrane played by Janice Connolly. 
Even said rewatching Supernatural uh, currently on season nine. Wow, I'm going to rewatch it. There you it. are. You're going to have to rewatch it again. Richard said, now some afternoon tea. I'm having cream and jam and scones. Uh, cream chocolate slice and a chocolate cake. Blimey, Richard! Three desserts. Emma Reed is played by uh, Dido Miles. Uh, Sam said, I found myself watching a Jesus movie on Saturday and the actor who played Desmond from Lost was Jesus. He was pretty good. Yeah, oh. I remember J uh, Desmond from Lost. He's the one that they found in. So they found this underground bunker and he's the one that had to keep plugging the numbers in. Oh, no. So that's not the guy who's who plays in. Um... Not Desmond from the barbershop, no. No. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, Desmond from the barbershop. So, obviously, I always... So, for his cocktail, it will either go for a mojito or a Mai Tai. Oh. Uh, if you're not... Um, if you're not into your yoga half, you have half a brain. What's a yoga half? Oh, him. Yeah. Oh, no, if you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain. If you like pina colada... A bit. You're not, lost in the rain. If you're not into yoga, if, if you, you have, have a rain. I have to get the content. I forgot it was the lyrics if you of the song. Love the Sorry, I ruined that, Sam. I should have sang along with it. Laura said, Karen Holden, who died last year, paid by Jan Pearson. Oh, really? Oh. Uh, even said, oh, a Long Island iced tea. That's her one. For I sure. Know. I always think of Eva when you see Long Island. Long Island iced tea. tea. I'm thinking, oh, does it have five shots in it? If it doesn't, it's not for evening. Yeah, exactly. That's why you like it. Yeah. Uh, Laura said, Karen died on the episode, not in real life. No, I, I thought oh, that was I the thought case. it was in real life. No, I thought that was the case. Paige, probably well played by, was it, uh, is it Genevieve? Genevieve, sorry, Lewis. And Dave Burns, played by Gareth. I can't read that because the heart thing's in the middle. Well, wait till it scrolls up. Berliner, that's it. Um, yeah, so is that your favourite cocktail? So you've got Pina Colada, we have the Mojito, the Mai Tai, we have the Long Island Iced Tea. Sam hasn't done her yet one as well. And St. Cot, I wonder if St. Cot's into his uh, Yeah, do you know what? Cocktail. Like, not everybody likes a cocktail, but I find that, like, so I had to plan an event one time, um, this was last year, and I had to pick three cocktails. So one of them I picked was an old fashioned. The other one was a pina colada. I can't remember the third one that I picked. Um, but there were so many people that loved the old fashioned. Was, and that's like a whiskey type drink or with like orange peel and some bitters and all of that. But yeah, they really, really loved. I, I was shocked at how many people liked the old fashioned. Uh, Laura said, my favourite cocktail is called Gareth Berliner on the Beach. Oh, never even had it. Isn't Gareth Berliner one of the characters in um, in Doctors? Do you like Gareth Berliner? <laughs> That's what I was wondering, if it's Gareth Berliner on the Beach. Because you normally, uh, is it Sex on the Beach? What's that? Isn't it that a really creamy cocktail? No, sure, I don't know. I don't I'm know. sure that's with uh, coconut milk. I don't. I might I, be wrong. I don't drink all of those, and you know, like when they cosmopolitans and all of that stuff. I do like a strawberry daiquiri. I do like a strawberry daiquiri every now. So if I wanted to switch between the two, but um, a teacher on Friday she used to do a really nice one, Barnum Mint Baileys. That is creme de menthe with a, a, a vanilla ice cream and Oreo. Uh, it, was oh. the best one the best one yeah yeah uh sam said yeah. i've been watching and i love goggle box but didn't charlie from casualty get stabbed years ago and again this year i didn't watch casualty anymore but i'm sure he was stabbed before i'm not sure do you know what i i have never watched casualty and that's been going for years yeah, it's he, been going for years he's actually i did read that though he's leaving the series oh I don't he's know leaving the series apparently um Eva said, I go for a Long Island iced tea if loaded with sugar, and I go for coconut, Malibu, rum, and peach snaps. Ooh. Otherwise, peach snap. Like, back in the day, I used to drink peach snaps. Uh, yeah, Malibu and pineapple. Uh, it, now I, I don't mind, like, um, you know, like a Dizarano um, and Red Bull. I love that. Or back in the day, I used to drink vodka and Red Bull. I'll drink that now. If there's no Dizarano and Red Bull, I will drink a vodka and Red Bulls. Quite nice. Uh, where are we? Tommy said, I always go for mojitos in the summer. Mm. Do you know what, actually, Tommy? I was watching this YouTube video where somebody made one. They sh the way they did it was they took the glass, they cut open some um, limes, mm. chucked them in, but they used almost like a masher. So a muddler. Muddler, I've, I've got a muddler. You have to really mash this thing into the glass. 
And once you do that, um, and then you add, you don't add sugar. They said you don't add sugar. The secret is to add, you probably know this already, but they add icing sugar. So you add the icing, and quite a bit of icing sugar you need. Add that to taste. And then they added um, tonic water. And then they added gin, and then you put the sprig of mint in it. And because that's when it. you were in the phase of making these mocktails, because he was making mocktails without the gin, um, a lot of my uh, icing sugar was not to be found. So when I needed to do, like, you know, the toppings for a cake. Oh, I don't know what happened there. But it was really good. So definitely try it with the icing sugar. And also as well, it was a good use of the icing sugar. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, I'd really recommend that. They were really, really good. Um, so again, mash up your muddler, get your muddler, mash it all up in the um, in the glass as well. Add ice. Oh, I forgot the ice. Add your tonic, tonic water, Indian tonic water, and then you add uh, the a sprig of. Uh, no, 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 no. This is where you've got to add several spoonfuls. So you add the spoonfuls of icing sugar first, and then add the liquid. Otherwise, it won't work as well. Mash that up. Muddle that up, and then if you want, you can add your um, your booze. What is it? Is it oh, I forgot what it is. It's gin. gin. Oh, no, no, it's rum. It's rum. rum. It's rum. rum. Yeah, yeah. It's rum. It's rum. Um, yeah, try that. Try that if you could. If you could do it, sneak into the the, uh, the drinks cabinet and then add on the yacht and stuff. I don't want to get you in trouble. No, and I'm sure he knows how to. I'm sure you know how to make cocktails, though, right? I might have got it all wrong. Thomas would go, no, Mark, no, it's not like that at I'm all. I'm sure you have to make cocktails, yeah. Uh, uh, where are we? Where are, where are we? The, uh, the cat's helping me. Uh, oh, my cousin likes casualty, says Lauren. Oh. Richard said, the cat's helping me with my cream cakes. Eating too much tonight. I'm not surprised you've eaten scones. Uh, a, was it a chocolate cake? And a, uh, an eclair. Um, is she just licking the cream though? Uh, frozen berry mojitos are nice as well. Since that, mm. have you not? So, actual fact that's what you do. So, so we Kelly always used to put loads of ice in it, and it makes it all watery. watery. So, if I'm doing pins, um, I will put lemonade in it, but I don't put ice, I put frozen fruit. What and then oh, yeah, in the pins, yeah, yeah, that's right. So, if you I use frozen ice. fruit. Uh, it's better because it doesn't go all watery. Yeah. And also as well, when the when the ice actually melts, you can actually eat it as well. You mean the fruit? The fruit. The ice. Sorry, not the ice. The fruit. Uh, Ollie Miller's paper, Isaac Ben, says Laura. Mm. Right, Richard said, earlier today was sausage roll and cream hot chocolate large. Too much cream mm -hmm. today. Where did you get your sausage roll? Did you go for a Greg special? Because we did at the weekend as well. We did. Oh my god, we did Greg's as well. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot that. Yeah. And we did film it. We did, did a massive order from Greg's. We did. Um, how I've not put weight on on this thing, I don't know. Uh, Lauren said, uh, "Richie Miller is played by Richard Atwell." Uh, Tommy said, "I'll have uh, I'll have to tell the chef Stu on board to make uh, one. She's sh chef cocktail maker on board. <laughs> uh, if they find." That was just somebody on YouTube, though, Tommy. If there's a better recipe, please let us know. Because if you tell them the recipe, go, what's he talking about? No, 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 you do this, this, and this. It'd be interesting to know. Um, where are we? Uh, Aoife said, uh, I hear your washing machine. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. It's on. See, Kenny gets on a clothes wash, too. <laughs> uh, where are we? <clears throat> oh, Tommy said, oh, I know how to make a few drinks. Mm -hmm. Working, working on the yacht, I should imagine you do. What's your speciality? Has anybody else got a speciality? Can anybody make a mean drink here? That's my one I can make as well, although I, I haven't affected it yet. Pina colada and um, uh, what do you call it? Um, a bar of mint, please. That's probably about the only two that I know how to make. Sam said, oh, I love a Bloody Mary. Mm. Do you add the celery with your Sam? So when we went to Salt and celery. when we went to Vegas, uh, they had those as well. So in the buffet, do you remember we went on the buffet there? You, they had all of them all made, pre-made. Yeah, and then mimosas and obviously champagne, so you can have your champagne. And first. people were they were having them for breakfast. Yeah, even when we went to Mauritius, yeah, Evelyn and my mum were they were having champagne breakfast. <laughs> yeah. uh, Lauren said Daniel Doctor is played by Matthew Chambers. Uh, Eva said or a or a neighbours perhaps. No, 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 it's our, it's our washing machine. No, it's no, it's our washing machine. You won't be able to hear the neighbours from, from here. <laughs> well, I hope not, otherwise that means our, uh, there's no window because you're able to hear it. Um, well, Richard said, Gin oh, is it Ginsters? Ginsters. Aha, aha, hee, 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 original. 
What? That was the other. Ha 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 ha. He he ho ho. Against his original. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, I don't know. I've not heard of that one, but I just like it. Because I think it was like a leprechaun or something like that. And that would be, yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, Sam said, Kelly, now I'm thinking of cocktail theme afternoon tea recipe. Now that would be a brilliant idea. Would you do. So would you do the sandwiches as well, sort of cocktail afternoon tea? So almost like a Bloody Mary sandwich. So you'd have to have tomato in it, celery in it, potentially, and then add some salt with that as well you could do. Or the cakes could be cocktail inspired. So a pina colada cake, like you do. Or I would just do, a, like, cocktails. Or a mehi. You've got to about the food. You'd have the food as that. Sam, what are you thinking? Are you thinking that the food would be cocktail themed or it would just be uh, have cocktails instead? Of I mean, tea? I do do pina colada cakes, by the way. But, yeah. Well, Tommy said, I probably say my speciality is a margarita. Ah. Do you get to make the drinks for the crew as well? For the the um, the people that own the yacht or just the crew? Or do you just make them for yourself? You practice? So margarita, what's that made with? Because in my mind, when I'm thinking margarita, all I can think is pizza. Margarita pizza. <laughs> can't, I can't think of the drink. I'm thinking, well, what's the drink made? Is it, uh, I'm assuming it's got tomatoes in the drink then. I don't think it has. No, because sangria is made with wine. Yeah. But I don't know about margarita. It's not. It's definitely not a margarita pizza. Uh, no, but I'm wondering what... No, I'm not saying it's a margarita pizza. What I'm saying is I'm it's joking. margaritas... What's in a margarita? Is there tomatoes in oh, it? Like just for the guess, them? crew aren't allowed whilst on duty. No, of I can course. imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. Um, what's in Tommy? What's in a margarita? Yeah, okay. could you would you mind letting us know? Not revealing your secret, just the ingredients yeah. rather than the measurements. Uh, Valerie Pittman is played by Sarah uh, Moyle. Valerie's last episode aired in December 2022. The episode is no longer on the BBC iPlayer. Wow. Um, uh, Lauren, I am really impressed. You can remember. Yeah, all you of can these. remember all of these. That because is so impressive. I don't think I've ever what I don't. I don't know um, any of the actors that you've mentioned anyway. But um, I'm just trying to think. Have I seen an episode of Doctors? But if I remember correctly, Doctors used to be played in the middle of the day. Am I correct? Um, so I would not have seen. I think it, it's a little bit similar to. Like, if you were at home ill and you'd watch Take the High Road or something like that, or Sons and Daughters or Neighbours or Home and Away or something. So them, them sort of shows were always on in the middle of the day. But they still are. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they are, yeah. But home, but home and Away and Neighbours were then repeated in the evenings. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is yeah. true. This is true. Yeah. Um, well, actually, fact, it's been bought out by Channel 5 now. They were going to stop Neighbours, but it's only it's only British TV that's keeping it going, even mm. though it's an Australian show, because it is so popular in the UK. Yeah, it is. Both of them are, Home and Away and um, Neighbours are very popular. But they're saying that they now make it for a British audience. Yeah. Um, Same as Joey, because they were going to get rid, they were going to cancel Joey, um, but then it was the UK that wanted to continue it. But Joey, unfortunately, wasn't as popular as Friends, which was a real shame. Uh, Tommy said, uh, oh, oh no, we said that one, sorry, just to guess. Richard said, um, I mix Pepsi Max with R. White's lemonade, it's the retro taste. I've not done that for you, I used to do that when I was a kid. They used to mix the two, Coke and lemonade. Mm -hmm. You can't, the thing is, the, the Pepsi is so powerful, it overpowers the lemonade. Yeah, drink. Pepsi is just, it's just, I don't find it a pleasant drink. It's just, every time I drink, it's just bubbles. It's, there's no... Like I don't drink Coke and um, uh, Pepsi anyway, and if I do drink Coke, it's very rare um, because it, the, especially Diet Coke, it gives me such an upset stomach now. Um, I can drink one, two, forget it. I can't drink two Diet Cokes. It just gives me a terrible tummy ache. Um, but it, it, it's the only one that really, that I, I can't drink Pepsi Max. It just doesn't, Pepsi, any Pepsi products pretty much. The taste for a future generation. Mm -hmm. uh, generation Oh, talking Pepsi. of which though, what they did, uh, when we went to, uh, Street Burger, is that Gordon Ramsay was doing, um, vanilla float. So that's the Coke with vanilla ice cream floating on the top. I thought, I've not had one of those. He wasn't years. making it personally, he's just the Yeah, he was. Restaurant. He was, he made it for me. Oh, wow. Uh, but we didn't order it, but what they were doing, but I just thought, mm. I haven't seen that since Wimpy. Wimpy do vanilla floats, but he doesn't call it vanilla float. He called it the American thing, which was uh, Coke and vanilla. I forget what Soda or? Yeah, something like that. Soda but yeah, in England, you always call it vanilla float. 
Um, oh, here we go. Where are we? Richard said, I tried the ideal uh, home, seven up prime, Coca cola slushy, and mixed about eight of them together. The video to come. Oh, is this when you're on the ideal home show? Okay. Um, you went with Lauren went, funny enough. Yeah, but I, I, I don't think they went on the same day. No, you didn't go on the same day, no, that's true. Sam said cocktail flavoured food, uh, you would do dog, but we could just do a liquid lunch if you insist. <laughs> I think the cocktail... I think Evelyn is the one that would insist. I think you could do a cocktail themed food. I think that would work. I definitely think it would. If you think you would have things like mint, you would have things like the uh what else would you have i'm not sure you know why i'm not sure because anything sort of other than like liqueur filled chocolates they don't seem to be successful like i've tasted you know like those gin and tonic after eights and all of that sounds like and they don't tend to work i feel i think alcohol in food is doesn't tend to work anyway but i think that um alcohol like cocktails itself yeah it's it's difficult to do cocktail themed food that actually works. Um, I I like the idea of it, but to actually you know put it into practice, I don't know. Um, but what what? I no, I disagree with you. I think it would work. Have you tasted anything cocktail wise that you think works? Uh, yes. Go on. So uh, I think more for the sweets, not for the savouries. Mm -hmm. But a lime cake would work. I think a a, what, a lime and mint cake. Yeah, I think that would work. Um, I don't think lime and mint would work. You'd only have a very subtle mint thing in it. You'd probably put the mint on top. Mm. And then you would have the pina colada cake would work. Pina colada cake, yeah, uh, that would work. But, I mean, so you're that's... not talking about large... Uh, the only thing that... Pina colada cake, and then there's an amaretto cheesecake that I do, there which is are. quite nice. You see? That's three already. Um, you need a couple more, and then that's your afternoon tea done. Tommy said, to keep... Oh, right, here you go. Uh, is margarita is a tequila lime juice and triple sections oh like triple sec triple sec yeah well triple section sorry triple no sec. triple sec um all right there you are I, do, do, do you know what i can only picture margarita pizza i didn't because when uh, mark said margarita and i was thinking you thinking about sangria well sangria is made with wine i thought but hang on a second how is a margarita made i've never heard of it I am eating here with margarita pizza. It's funny. Here you go. Uh, Aoife said, mix Jameson's whiskey and Malibu coconut rum and peach snaps together. Guaranteed hangover. What? Yes. Yes. Mix uh, petrol. <laughs> I imagine taking a sip of that and going, oh, and then I'll be on the floor. Lighter fluid and you guaranteed hangover. My God, that is strong, Aoife. Right? What are you drinking? What? Are you trying to just melt the lining of your stomach and then just kill your liver? Uh, Lauren said, yeah, uh, 145 BBC One. So that's when um, Bye. the doctor. Yeah. Uh, last ever Doctor episode will air November, December this year. Oh, wow. Do you record them, Lauren? Because I know you're a big fan of them. We, How long has it been going? How long has the series been going? Must be gone for years. Mm. Even said, oh, Margarita made me with Contra, but I prefer tequila. Mm. Oh, that's interesting because, funny enough, Tommy made his with tequila. Mm. But you're saying you normally have it with Contra. It's Contra. made with Quan Quantro, Quantro, but... Yeah. Um, even prefers it with tequila. With tequila, there yeah. you go. Because Tommy makes his with tequila. Uh, I think tequila is probably stronger. That's why even probably prefers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna. <laughs> uh, where are we? Lawrence, said, remember I met someone from doctors. Yes, I yes, know. Yes, yes, I remember. I remember yeah, you saying. Yeah. Oh, Richard's got to go. Take care, Richard. Bye, Richard. Uh, Lawrence, said, I went last Thursday to the Ideal Home Show. Mm. Okay. Uh, and even would say for the afternoon tea, she would have alcohol as the dressing. So you would actually dress uh, the food with it. You see? Yeah, but the dressing, if you're going to have alcohol drink, it has to complement the food. So I don't know. I mean, when they do that Jack Daniel sauce at TGI's, ah, I can't lie to you. That is, that's nice. That is nice. But then when I tried the Jack Daniel sauce, it was hideous. It was hideous. They, they started selling it in shops and it wasn't good. But the TGI um, uh, Friday's version one was really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, do you know what though? Like Sam said, I'm liking the idea of these cakes. Mm. I'm liking the idea of these uh, cocktail thin cakes. That like whiskey mac cake, so Sam said. I love a whiskey mac cocktail. So you would actually put the booze in the cake. So you would yeah. actually taste it. Um, that would really work. So you've got your whiskey mac cake. You've got your tequila cake. You've got your, um, you could have a mojito cake if you had it with lime. 
line. And I'm not convinced with all these you're wrong, tequila you're wrong, cakes. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You can't say you're wrong because you wouldn't eat it. You can't say you're wrong. You wouldn't eat it. You're wrong. You wouldn't eat it. So uh, you know, I, like I would have eaten that booze in it. Doctor Lauren said, Doctor started in March 2000. 24 oh. years. Man, that's mad. Anybody born in 2000 would now be 24. That is mad. That was mad. Before you were born. Oh, my word. That is mad. That is mad. Wow. Uh, Malibu Rome goes down far too easy, Tommy said, Sam. <laughs> Sam said, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tommy said, Sam, I know it's nice. I'll just drink it anyway. It's <laughs> anyway, it's made. Um, you like I like the Malibu boom. boom. <laughs> um, I've got some Malibu down there. I've got some in the cupboard. Yeah, the Malibu boom. boom. Have you saw how many bottles of booze we've got here? Because you're prepping. Yeah. Uh, you would you would see. You would see. Um, a lot. I don't drink a lot, but um, I never drink in the house. Um, but, yeah, I've got a lot. I'm looking down there because that's where it is. There's loads. Well, you got well, there's not loads. There's not loads, but there is, there is a lot. But not low. There's not enough for what I need it for. No. Uh, Sam said, "A boozy French fancy, sign me up." <laughs> but would you put it in the cake? Would you put it in the icing, or would you put it in the filling? You'd put it in the cream at the top. Or would you put it in all of it? No, you'd put it. So basically, you'd still have the sponge, and then you'd have the whether it is the chocolate one or the lemon one or whatever. And in the cream portion is where you would mix the cream with the booze. And then, so when you take a bite, you, that is when you get the hit. Or you'd you'd have a pepit, and then pipette. You'd have a pipette. That's it. A pepit. A pepit. Pepit. Pepit pig. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then you'd have a pipette, and then yeah. Oh, well, where was that place we went to? And they had the pipette? Italy. That's right. So they would serve cakes with a little pipette on them, and the pipette had the booze in it. So the idea is, when you bought it, yeah, you took the pipette and you'd actually either put it in the cake or over it the had, top. Yeah, limoncello. That's yeah, right. Yeah, That's right. I remember them selling it. <coughs> I thought, what have you got? Because I bought it home. I think we did a video on it. Yeah, we did. We did, we did a video That's on it. That's a long time ago. It was a long time ago, but we did a video and it had a pipette and the pipette had limoncello in it. So you basically you either decide you want to pour the booze on top of your cake, shove the pipette in there and then put it in your cake or just go like that and then drink your food. Thing. Probably not the idea. Uh <laughs> Sam said, I would put it where it belongs, uh, and that would depend. But the, the comment I was laughing at was Tommy. He said, oh, no, not limoncello. Limoncello is a no-go. <laughs> so one, funny enough, the reason why I was laughing, Tommy, was one Christmas, Kelly served limoncello as a mousse bouche, didn't you? you it was, was a, a palate cleanser. Palate cleanser. And uh, it was it. <laughs> it was uh, Alicia. She went, oh, no, no. <laughs> she would drink it. Yeah, he's... I feel like <laughs> limoncello is an acquired taste, but I had a limoncello, a frozen limoncello as an amuse, a, 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 as a palate cleanser, and it was so good. I still, I need to know how to make um, the frozen limoncello and then serve that as the palate cleanser. I'm, I'm sure you mix it with lemonade, and that's how you freeze it. I think I'll have to, I'll have to have a look. Yeah. Well, Tommy's not interested in it because limoncello is a no go. It's, it is an acquired taste. Uh, it is. is it a no go because you have memories of when you drank a load of limoncello? I have to say that put me off Malibu years ago when I got drunk on it. I just uh, I could taste it; it was just coming back up, and I thought that really. I put mean, me off the... if you're going to get drunk on Malibu, that's you drunk far too much because Malibu is very low um, alcoholic wise. No, I had so, a lot. I had yeah, a lot. so if you, I mean, this yeah. was a long time ago. Yeah, I think I. 21 Malibu and Coke, so then I was really out of it. Don't ask me why. Malibu and Coke. Oh, like, no, that is not for I me. couldn't drink it again for years. Yeah, it's, that's not for me, Malibu uh, and Coke. Sam said, like the fruit in the cake, the booze in the frosting kind of vibe. Mm. So, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. So you'd make, the, you'd make the actual fruit in the cake boozy. So if you soaked that... You know, you, you get like, it. Oh, cake. yeah, like rum cake or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a lover of all of that. I have to be, yeah, I have to be honest. I'm not a lover of fruit being soaked in alcohol. I feel it's so, so strong, but it overpowers the taste of everything. So I don't I don't like it too much. But Mary Berry and Prue Lee's like a bit of rum cake. Oh, yeah, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. They really, they like... A bit of booze in yeah, it. Yeah, they do. Uh... <laughs> So I'm just going to read Tommy's comment because I don't really remember any nights I drank Limoncello. <laughs> uh, 
that was that was one of my favorite um uh, quotes from what's his name alice cooper he goes i call it the set the 70s the wonder years you want to know why because i wonder where they went <laughs> he had no idea recollection of what happened in the 70s there was one time so um i so i've spoken about this before um i went to um so one of the girls that I used to work with, she was having a party and everyone was getting there, dressed in their little dresses. And I was just like, oh, I don't really want to go. I'm in jeans and trainers. And um, one of the girls called me. She goes, oh, I'm in my jeans. and Come with me, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, all right then. Anyway, so I attended. Um, and we, so we were having a couple of drinks. And this bar made no drinks that I liked. And so he goes, I make you something. I make you a Solero. Um, it tastes like Solero, doesn't it? And I was like, mm, yeah, it does. It didn't. It was so strong. I was like, mm, yeah, it does. So anyway, we went to sit downstairs and I was drinking this Solero drink so strong. And a leak started happening behind us. And so we had to call the people um, of the bar and they like, and then they gave us free limoncellos. So we drank this limoncello and then I just downed this drink and then I went and got another one. And then all of a sudden I was like really tipsy. Bear in mind, I hadn't eaten. I had not eaten. So I drank another Solero. <laughs> it tasted a lot better the second time around. Because I down the first one, they down the lemon cello, and I thought, oh, do you know what? And then um, I was with somebody called Fred, and I remember we, uh, I was just like, yeah, let me, let me get you a shot, let me get you a shot, and then we do shot, 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 shot. We 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 must have done about seven shots or something between us. And then um, I got so I was so drunk. I don't think I've ever. I maybe at the time I was at Evelyn's house, maybe I was more drunk. I, I don't know at which time I was more drunk, but I was so drunk that day. And I was so when I started to walk home because um, my friend, she didn't know how to get to the station. So I showed her in my drunken haze. I knew how to get to her station and I knew how to get to my station. So I took her to her station. She, I don't know how she got home. She wasn't as drunk as me, to be fair. And then I started walking and then I got to the train station. And then I was just like, oh, God, I like. I was like, sat down on the train. I thought, don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep. And, and then a girl came and sat next to me. She was reading a book. And I was like, oh, my God, I need to be sick. I was like, Kenny, pull yourself together. Like, don't be sick in front of this girl. It's just going to be so embarrassing. So I finally got up from my uh, chair to get off at my station. And I, I got off and I was just like, like, I was walking like this up the ramp. Um, and I was going like this. And I got to the bus. And the bus pulled up and I got on the bus and I thought, I can't sit down. I can't, I can't sit down. So I was just like holding on to the pole. And then I needed to be sick. And I just thought, don't be sick on the bus. Just, just don't be sick on the bus. And then I just got off the bus and I crossed over to the road. And I couldn't hold it in anymore. I chucked up by the telephone boxes. And then I, I finally made my way home. I don't, I, like, I, even now. And I remember it. I remember it vividly. Um, but yeah, I was I was just really drunk. Lovely. <laughs> anyway, uh, Sam said lemon sorbet in a proper posh restaurant is still one of the best things I've eaten. Mm. Do you make your own sorbet? Do you make your own ice cream? Mm. Um, because the thing is, you don't need an ice cream maker. No. If you could use if, your you, own if it's ice cream, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sam said my mum would soak her fruit for Xmas cakes and puddings mm. in sherry, so us kids would like it. But, do you know what that is? <laughs> the sherry, when it absorbs the sherry, is quite nice. Uh, Lauren said uh, prime coffee, add instant coffee to the mug, add prime instead of milk, then add boiled water from the... Does that work? What is it? What? So to hang on. What? Add, add coffee, coffee beans to the mug, then add prime instead of milk. Then add boil water from the kit. Does that work? Like, what flavour prime are you using? Yeah, what 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 are you trying to produce with that? No, coffee? prime coffee. Oh. Prime coffee. What so, prime would you use though? So you'd have coffee, a prime drink, and milk. And what sorry, no milk, and then water. So basically the prime just tops it. But what prime, what prime flavour would you use? Is my question. Anyone you want, I'm assuming. Even said getting drunk on Malibu, really? How many bottles? I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, you'd have to drink so many because it's so low in alcohol. Uh, where are I? I know, it makes me sound like I'm a light, lightweight. Now. <laughs> Celero is the ice cream manufactured by Del Monte. It is. Oh, I like yeah. a Celero. Yeah. I do like a Celero. That's what they were making the cocktail with. Like, they were going, it tastes like Celero, no? And I was like... Mm. Sounds like Del Monte barbecue sauce with pineapple is very nice. I've, I've not tried the Del Monte one. With barbecue, I, I'm not sure about barbecue on my pineapple. Yeah, any flavour. The uh, Meta Moon is the best to do it with. Mm -hmm. There you are. I shall have to try that. So basically, you make it yourself a cup of coffee, but instead of milk, 
You use, you use Prime. You use Prime. But you'd use the same amount as you would be I Prime. I feel like that would be too weird. I would have to try it. I'm gonna, Lauren, I'm going to try that. He's going to try it. I'll try it with the Meta Moon. Um, even said, at my house, we killed four bottles of tequila. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. That is insane. Evelyn, that is terrible. Uh, that's more yeah. than you drink with water. Uh, Sam said, the most I ever drank was when I was a teenager. There's three pints of vodka. One for every every day I had to spend in bed after. Oh, my God. Yeah. Three, three pints. In bed. <laughs> three pints. Wow. Oh, my God. Well, Lauren says the Metamune coffee is good. So I'll have to try that. Mm. That sounds like my kind of party, said Tommy. <laughs> Four bottles of tequila. I can't get over that you drank three pints of vodka. Well, yeah, because when so when I went to Evelyn's, Evelyn had so um, Evelyn used to have she used to have this tiny flat, and I don't know how all of us fitted in this tiny flat, and I don't even know how half of us fell asleep in this tiny flat. Um, and um, we had like I bought, but I think I bought bottles. Somebody else bought bottles. A couple of other people bought bottles of tequila. And um, we were doing these shots, but she didn't have any shot glasses. So she had these sort of like, the, the, almost, they're like champagne sort of martini glasses where they're, you know, they're round. So they so, so they go like that a bit. And um, we were drinking it in those and we were like doing full shots of this. I was so drunk. I was so, I, like, I, and it was my first, uh, yeah. I, and I, so it was me and a load of other girls. I can't even remember how many of us girls there were. I think there was about six or eight of us. I can't, I can't, even, I can't even remember. But I remember falling in, and it was just like piles of us bodies just <laughs> fell asleep. I was just like, huh? And then I just woke up in the morning and, you know, a couple of the girls that I knew, one was on top of me, another one was on top of me. I, I, like, yeah, I was so drunk. So drunk. Well, as Sam says, never dare a Sam. Ooh. Well, guys, we've been going for an hour and a half. Wow. So I think we will leave the line yes. there. But thank yes. you guys so much for joining in. We have good fun thank as we you. always do. I love listening to your stories, particularly yeah. the ones about everyone getting boozy. Uh Sam has said my two shot glasses are London ones, beef eaters and London bricks. There you go. <laughs> uh Tommy said, I once had guests on board that drank two whole bottles of oh, is it Don Julio tequila? Wow. in two hours and it didn't even phase them oh. they then drank the bar dry we had to, to buy oh my god buy more alcohol the next day <laughs> oh my <laughs> god who were these people that is crazy was one of them yeah, yeah yeah one of them would have been even yeah oh god. my god i mean my my alcohol tolerance is really really low but i mean i don't know how people can drink bottles or something and then just yeah my them. alcohol tolerance is low for sure um but i like it like i said i like it to enhance my drink or uh, be present like it's pleasant in my drink not like yeah i couldn't drink loads blah, blah, blah. i'd be on the floor honestly <laughs> oh tommy she loved that thing so yes as lauren said so this friday we will be doing a kfc takeaway uh eat along so, and chopsticks no we don't do both okay we'll just do one at a time um we'll do chopsticks another time okay but so it'll be this friday kfc if you want to get it along whatever you want to get just you want to get if you can you don't have to you can just watch us stuff off yeah yeah um but we will be doing it at 6 30 so you have to order it way ahead of advance because uh like last time we we're sitting there waiting for it god knows how long yeah. so there'll be kfc Sincot, there you go your suggestion yeah um we'll be doing that this friday so whatever you want to order order it as well we'll yeah. be doing the eat along as well i'll definitely be getting thigh leg and thighs the original uh, recipe and I'll also get some uh, uh, chicken wings, and I'll probably get um, a fill uh, uh, the fillet. The fillet, there you go. Yeah, you're gonna fill it. Fill yeah. it, fill it. Right. There we are, guys. Thank you so much for joining in as we have great fun as we always do. Uh, we will see you on Friday. So have yes. a wonderful week. Enjoy. Oh, bargain bucket, Lauren's gonna go. For. Oh, bargain bucket. That's not what my mum would go for, but I'm gonna go for wicked variety meal. That's a wicked variety meal. That's what I'm going for. Anyway, as always, please do take care. Please do look after yourselves. And remember, you're never told to have fun. We will see you on Friday. And if you are sitting back and watching us and you like um, what we do, you like um, what we're talking about, you want to join in the conversation, you just want to sit back, um, but you haven't um, subscribed, then please do. And guys, thank you for the likes. It really helps the um, the channel. It pushes it out to new viewers. 
and thank you and thank you for joining us we have such fun when we chat to you guys honestly um it does make our evening so thank you for joining us until then we'll see you friday take care guys and don't forget to melt my cheese we'll see you friday bye for now bye. oh happy spring to sam happy spring happy spring